Hello. Welcome back to my channel or whatever. My name is Lynn. Uh, it's so nice to be filming and uh, able to put out content that I wrote scripts for long before I was pregnant at this point. I'm six months pregnant. So a lot of what I'm filming is like things that I've been like itching to get out for a while now. Um, today's video, put that on something. It's about my relationship with God and how that relationship has evolved and transformed um, as time has gone on. If you see me look down, it's because I have a script in my lap. And yeah, lately, lately I've been having conversations with myself about like, who is God? And say hi, what is God? And like, <laughs> not to personify like a spirit, um, but to just see like, where am I placing my value? How am I navigating like different areas when it comes to like the value that I place on them? Um, with that being said, depending on who you ask, if you say who is God, you're going to get different names. Um, yeah. If you ask a Muslim, they'll tell you Allah. If you ask a Christian, they'll probably say Jesus. Like, it's just different. Um, names for God obviously <laughs> but more specifically in like 2024 what does that mean like when you ask somebody who is God and they tell you the name it's like what does that mean what does that name represent what does that name embody because everybody know a nigga named Jesus I'm just playing here's the thing no disrespect that was a joke anyway to be more specific, everybody has gone through similar stories than the ones that I documented in um, Abrahamic religion Bibles. With that being said, the stories is not what makes the entity God. Period. Come on. I'm sorry. If y'all hear my cat crying, that's all he know how to do. Um, so yeah. What is God? That is how I feel. That is what I've been trying to answer for myself because ultimately, I'm not sure if that's a question that I can um, ask someone outside of me and just take that and run with it. However, when I do ask the people that I'm around, like, who is God to you? Or what is your God like? that allows me to have an appreciation for where that person is coming from and how that person sees me, how that person sees the world. Um, and it's not every day you can just have conversations with people about like, who's their God, why, but the people that you find, or the people that I've found in my life where we've been able to have these conversations openly, um, they just be beautiful. <laughs> They be so beautiful and they're so sweet and I learn different things from them. Like I'm able to learn from them, but I am not able to internalize their specific experience or their specific perception. And I feel like a lot of times in religion, that's kind of what we've been conditioned to do. But religion can sustain itself without that. Now the state that we occupy could not sustain the scapegoating of religion without that conditioning. But religion has its own like uh, way of life could sustain itself that way okay so in this video i wanted to depict how my perception of god has changed today i'm 24 and like i said i'm six months pregnant i guess i can show that really so uh my perception of god has changed tremendously it's hard for it to stay the same when there's a being kicking me from the inside <laughs> when i'm no longer the only spirit occupying this vessel so with that being said 
uh, today I would say God is all of what we didn't invent like and some of our inventions too like science but yeah um, I pray to the sun I bask in it and my skin drink it up you feel me um, I worship trees and weed <laughs> So, um, and I think the rain is pretty cool. Uh, I keep a couple Bibles on hand. You feel me? Like, I got an NIB Bible um, and the Chakra Bible. And they sit on top of each other on my desk. <laughs> um, yeah. That's where it began, and then this is how's it going. And is where it began, and then how's it going is my chakra Bible. But anyway, I worship my body by moving it, okay? By making that ass shake, okay? That's how I worship my body, I shake that ass. That's why I'm pregnant. Worshiping my body is why it's another person in my body with me. And to have this other person in my body with me, it was another person in my body with me. Anyway, I love my vision. I love my senses. So I'm eating, I'm playing music, I'm performing poetry, and I'm absorbing. <laughs> I'm absorbing other people's experience and relationship and perception with God. I'm absorbing my own experience relationship and perception of god i'm ab absorbing other people's pain i'm absorbing my own pain i'm absorbing other people's bliss and i am absorbing my own bliss you know what i mean like all these things are interconnected now for me so anyway this is a god's expression to me i love 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 god and that's on God. Like, I love the human experience. I love being alive. And I love being a mere human. Like, I feel like in the spiritual community, it's a lot of emphasis placed on if you are, like, interacting with your spirit. Just, for me, spirit represents anything outside of material. You feel me? Um, if you meditate on that, if you... Um, just like you understand that this is duality and the package deal at the same time it gives like there's this unrealistic standard of being a super negro or just being a super person just in case you're not you don't fit into the negro category and you find this video it be given like well these niggas is really super nigga they be talking about like no we not eating no, no meat. We not gonna sleep past 6 a.m. You gotta exercise every day. You gotta make sure you meditate every day. You gotta make sure you pray every day. All this shit that is just given, like, you really don't. <laughs> you ain't gotta do it. nothing like that every day. You do not gotta be super nigga. You don't have to be God. Okay, <laughs> like you don't have to be God to love God and you don't have to impersonate God to have an understanding of who God is. So at the end of the day, for me, it just gives like, I can never be like the type of person who gives perfection or uses uh, my interest in spirituality as something to give me like a pedestal to be on because it's really not given that it it really don't give <laughs> like maybe if I was an angel um but I'm a person so yeah it just it just don't give that and like I'm really picky about this spiritual content that I interact with or even the spiritual people that I interact with because it's given like you cannot use your awareness of self as a weapon against 
other people because they're more aware of themselves than you are aware of them you feel me and that's like at any phase of spirituality that you find yourself in that's at any phase of self-discovery that you find yourself in you do not know somebody more than they know their self you don't spend more time with somebody more than they spend time with themselves and you are not within that person but they are within themselves so the projections like you run into more people projecting onto you in spiritual like woke spaces than you would in the average space because these are people who think because they know themselves so well then they know you too and it it, it never really gave that like <laughs> there's no prototype of enlightened to be there's no prototype or like linear wave of consciousness to write like so yeah anyway let me stick to the script so with that being said um with my expansion or transformation of how i view god i still have to deal with like allegations of being godless um and that's because my idea my perception of god has been ever changing from yoga to singing bowls to tarot cards i still love like christian gospel music that's so affirmational but also like found affirmational music that is not rooted in christianity and it literally feels the same to my spirit um so yeah either way I understand that while my perception is ever changing, um, so is people's perception of me. Now, when it comes to talking about God and how I view God and how I lead with my belief system, like in my everyday life, what it gives for me is that is not a means to like put other people down. And it's really, if your pursuit of God is something that divides you from the people around you, well, who are you pursuing? Like, what are you in pursuit of? But, you know, when it's all said and done, you feel me? At the end of the day, <laughs> it's night, period. So, yeah, basically, on that note, to me, God is in everything everywhere at all times it's nothing <laughs> okay so thank you for coming to my channel and i hope this video resonates with you uh, period um, i hope you don't feel like i'm trying to persuade you to experience like the expression of God in any one way and I really hope I didn't offend you by talking about your God but even if I did let that God handle me okay <laughs> let them do it chill you see you see how that go God got me you can't check me anyway my name is Lynn and thank you for coming to my channel. Can you see Cornelius? No. He's in this blue chair, but the camera is too high to see him. At any rate, um, check the description box below. Um, my Etsy shop is open now, and I have two poem books out. One is Gang Shit Only, a gang of poems too lazy to publish themselves. <gasps> I wrote that when I was 16. And then Eternity is right now. That's a fucking banger. Um, and that's something that has taken me years to write. Um, each of them are bound by me, wrote by me, and edited by me. Yeah, I own it. <laughs> and you can too. So yeah, subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like this video, and leave a comment down below if you want to have transparency in how you view God in a way that's not going to get you burned at the stake. Yeah. <laughs> so.
thank you.